Linda Peterson is well known in the crafting world for her fabulous work in friendly plastic, jewelry making, and polymer clay. Linda has the coolest lineup of live online classes at Craft Tech University that you must absolutely check out. But you have to wait till after Cool to Craft, then you can go to Craft Tech University. Today, Linda is here to share her autumn drop earrings from her book, Beating in No Time. I'm delighted to welcome Linda Peterson. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jeff. Thanks, uh, everyone. And thanks for joining us. And Tiffany, just to let you know, I don't think it's just your computer. I think my computer is also having a Monday because there's a little bit of delay here, too. So I hope everyone had a wonderful creative weekend. We had a scorcher weekend. It was 103 degrees at 9 o'clock in the evening. And so that really made me think of how much I want to embrace fall right now and just get out of this scorching heat. So, um, and, and our kids go back to school today, which kind of means the end of summer for them. And, um, but it's all good because fall to me is uh, this area is filled with a lot of craft shows and, um, it's just a wonderful time of the year. So that's why I kind of thought, let's get a jump on fall and let's make a little pair of earrings, maybe to just kind of spruce up something uh, that you have from last year and just kind of give it a little bit of a, of an extra push. So I see she's got, um, my slide up there. I'm going to reposition my camera. While I'm doing that, if you want to raise your hand, if Tiffany, if you'll enable the little hand chat, I just kind of would be curious to see who um, is new to jewelry making or who wants to kind of get into jewelry making. I see a few hands. Okay, great. Well, you know, this is a great project to really start on. And like I said, um, the reason we're starting with this is because it's very basic, but, but if, you know, it's kind of a little, um, little boost on autumn. This is the actual photo from my book, and we're going to be doing a version of this. This is a great project if you have just a few beads. It only takes about 15 or 20 beads, maybe 10 on each or 5 on each. It kind of depends on how big you like your earrings. I think bigger the better, but not everyone likes big. So let me just show you some of the beads that I've got here. These are beads that are left over from some of my other projects in the book. And I wanted to give you ways to use those up so that they are not, um, you know, that they don't go to waste. And the other thing about using the beads that I've selected here, um, just to show you this one here, these are just some dyed jasper beads. You can find these all um, real easily in your local craft store. These are some shells. They're square. And these are a couple, a little, um, oh, I can't remember what the name of these are. I'm not real good with them. I like color. I really don't care what the name is as long as I like them. These are just some little wooden beads. And when you use neutral colors, it kind of takes the guesswork out because um, the neutral colors, they all work together no matter what you are using. And I also have a piece of wire here. This is um, 24 gauge wire. It's just craft wire. Very simple. You can use sterling silver wire, but I get, you know, why put the money into that when you're just going to be using craft wire? And I've made a little loop. Now I'm just showing you kind of the basic string on technique. There's lots of hints that I show in the class that we just don't have time to show. So, and, and some of those hints are how to make your jewelry neat, how to make it look professional looking. But what I did is I created a little loop with my round nose pliers. And now it's just a matter of um, stringing beads onto the wire. So let me do that here. I'm going to start with a wooden bead. And um, let's go with this green jasper bead. These um, square beads, they kind of add a nice little texture effect. So let's do, usually when I do these, I do two or three at a time because they're real thin. You can see these are just parts of shell. Okay. We'll string those on. Let's put, um, let's go ahead and put another wooden bead on. This is just really similar to the book, book project. It's not the identical project because I don't have all the beads that I had. String that one on. And then, so we have our pattern. We've got a, a wooden bead, a green bead, three or four shells, another wooden bead, and then we've got our center. So now we're just going to work that pattern backwards. So um, let's put on the three. Those are 
you know, you can make these earrings in like 10 minutes, which I love. So if you have a project or a sweater from last year that you just want to give a uh, boost to, let's say we've got to put a green and we'll finish that with the wooden bead. Okay. So I overestimated. I still have three beads left. So there's your pattern. Um, another nice thing to do is you can put some spacers in there. I just didn't grab any spacers today. But now what we have to do is we have to finish it. And this is real easy. Um, this this uh, wire here is about, oh, maybe three inches. So you're just going to take and you're going to bend it in half. Bring it up to your loop. Let me grab my pliers over here. And I'm just going to loop it around. Nice and neat. You can snip off the end um, if it's too big. Now, this is where you would adjust it if, in case you don't like earrings that are too long. But I do. Okay, so, you know, I kind of I kind of misshaped it. And you can go in because it's wire. You can make it round and, and wide, or you can make them long and dangly drop. All right, and just kind of adjust them that way. So there's your earrings. All right. And then this loop up here, this is what you would attach your earring wire to. And once you do that and make the other one, you've got yourself a set of earrings. Pretty simple, pretty easy.